Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the previous episode we rescued On, uh, and then finally got into the meat of the actual game at long last. And in this episode we gotta do some preparations before doing what, oh boy, I am not looking forward to doing. Uh, let's see, what day is it? It's Wednesday. We already bought up all the restorative items, or the SP restorative items, I believe. Yep. So, here's something I didn't mention, but because mm -hmm. money is going to be tight, I highly, highly recommend that you hold off on purchasing any dungeon-based mm -hmm. items, i.e. restorative items or equipment until you hit the day that you're going to go into the uh, dungeon. Because there's no point in buying equipment so far ahead of time if you're not going to use it. Uh, honestly, I don't really ever recommend buying ranged weapons because you're never going to be doing all your damage with it. Yeah, it does more damage than your melee currently, but really, with the limited amount of ammo and the fact that not as many items as you, <clears throat> as you think, or not as many enemies as you think are going to be weak to uh, bullet attacks, okay. I wouldn't bother. Uh, also, don't bother buying any melee weapons from Morgana or Akira. Akira already got his uh, silver dagger and Morgana, we're going to get something for him for free. Sounds good. Ooh, four grand, that would eat up pretty much everything I right, got. And so it ons. Sounds good. Do I got anything I can sell All off? Right. So you got the Revel Knife, Chakev, or however you pronounce it, but nothing really else. I definitely don't want to sell these off. what the clinic has on offer for us in terms of medicine. Oh, we can also take a look at what other people did today. Uh-huh. There's no one here. Yeah, this is one of the first instances of needing a certain level of uh, courage, or a certain social stat, in order to pull off a clinical trial. Because he doesn't have the right level of guts for it, he won't go after it. So, currently all we can do is just buy some medicine from her. Okay, which one? Okay, new drug developed, restores 50 HP to all allies. It's expensive as all hell, though. Try not to suffer any unnecessary injuries. I want the data I collect from you to be of use. Could go for some medicine. You want that one? Let's go for five, and I think there I'm going to save the rest of my money. Take care. Because we are going to need a decent amount of it in the coming days. Uh... Don't have the cash left over to... Well, I, I could buy Ryuji's weapon, I think. But I think I'm going to hold off on that. Instead, we're just going to go in with what we've got and head for the rooftop, because we are going into the palace. Now, if I seem apprehensive about this, I hope you understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But... Wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. Listen up. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. Where can we find it? Mm. Well, there's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. 
but if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Because it'd be too easy if it was in the first room. Eh, I think I get it now. We just gotta find that treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. Now, in any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. You can now discuss your current operation at the hideout. Check your progress with the hold meeting option, listen to your friends' opinions, and decide the best course of action. Selecting Infiltrate Palace will take you to the palace. You cannot purchase items while in a palace, so make sure you're so be sure you're well prepared. In it will be nighttime when you return from a palace. If time runs out, it's game over. Keep an eye on the time remaining. Yeah, so, just so you know, you technically need about eh, three days to actually take care of a palace in its entirety. For reasons I will get into later. We have to make them pay. There's no way I'll ever forgive Kamoshido. I must avenge Shiho. Ah, this ain't good. We're really gonna get expelled if we don't start putting our backs into this. Let's start our strategy. Now, about our course of action from here forward. I know we want to steal his heart, but we actually have no idea where it actually is. I guess we'll just have to explore some more until we manage to find it. What do you want to do about the shadows? It'd be real bad if any of them caught us. I think we should try avoiding him for now or something? Mm-hmm. I wonder if we'll really be okay like this. Shouldn't we try to get a little stronger? We might want to fight them one at a time to gain experience. Being weak won't do at all. Okay, that should sum things up for the time being. Alright, infiltrate the palace. Now, okay, as for go. why I feel so apprehensive about this, it's because... In order to keep to the schedule, for many of the palaces, we will have to complete them in one run. But, damn! Which... This early in the game is really not recommended. But we don't have much of a choice, and I am going to pull it off. I have done it. It's not easy. But I have done it. What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. Oh yeah, Ryuji, that's totally what you were thinking of staring at the young girl in a tight cat suit. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so what do you think? Cat girl? Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Because it sounds more... Ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. Eh, not quite. There's still one more thing we have to go through. Alright, let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned! Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. What's that mean? <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. Uh-huh. Sure you aren't. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter friends who share your aesthetics, 
and discover your place in reality. Only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Here we go, finally some help from these guys. What do you mean? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. Now then, let us try an actual persona fusion. By fusing together multiple that have multiple personas you have in your possession, you can create a new persona. This can be used to create personas of a higher level than the comp than the component personas. However, be aware that the personas you fuse will be lost. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effect of your bonds on execution, or fusion if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. In translation, the higher your bond is with someone, say, Ryuji of the Chariot Arcana, then the more experience they will gain from being fused. For example, the Sagathion. Because we have a bond of two with uh, Ryuji. Wait, do we have a bond of two? Yeah, we have a bond of rank two. Uh, he will get more experience than, say, a bond that would create a lover's persona. Extra experience, bonus creation, the bonus experience is called Arcana Burst. That is the thing that was mentioned when we formed a bond with uh, Igor. So, the higher our rank is with Igor, the more Arcana we are, uh, the greater the effect of the Arcana Burst is. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. In other words, we cannot create that Genbu because it's level 7 and we are only level 5. Same with... It's basically the same principle as trying to recruit a persona that's a higher level than you. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. There are ways to bypass that, however, but we won't get them until way, way, way later in the game. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. Let's see, Incubus. This is the form of your new persona is expected to take after fusion. If using a persona or new persona, you can select skills for it to inherit from the base personas. When fusing a new persona, some skills from the component personas may be inherited by the new one. Which skills can be inherited depends on the persona being fused. The more skills the component persona have, the more skills can be inherited. By making use of this, you will be able to grant persona skills they normally could not obtain. But of course, there's no need to think on that for now. For the time being, select whichever you want. Now, we could make this Incubus, but we're going to be able to recruit him fairly early on. See. Not terrible, but not impressive. You're also gonna get comments from the uh, from the jailers. Their names escape me at this moment. I don't know why. Not terrible, but not impressive. Yeah, this is something else we can recruit. 
Plus, I need to save that Mandrake. Uh, honestly, every time I played through this, the best option I've seen... Handle this. Yeah, see what I mean? Is fusing Arsene and Pixie. Yeah, Arsene is our uh, own personal persona, but really, he's not all that useful at this point. Not terrible, but not impressive. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Plus, this gives us a free chariot persona that we can use for future confidant ranks with Ryuji. Ah, uh, personally, I'd say go for Zio. Yeah, I know I said that Joker's whole shtick is that he's meant to fill in the elemental gaps, and we already have Ryuji. But, because we are trying to get through Kamishita's palace in one go, and I know that there are going to be several enemies that are weak to Zio, i.e. electricity... Um, he's going to be using up his SP a lot, so it might be better to have a split between the two of us, just so we can try and conserve as much SP, and we are actually going to need Zeo near the end of the palace. So, I'm going to pick this. It will receive a fraction of power. Plus, I'm fairly certain there aren't any enemies in Kamashita's palace that are weak to Aiha. In other words, Curse. So, yeah. Your respective confidant relationship is at rank 2. You should see some benefit. Are you certain this persona is acceptable? Yeah. It's the best Girls, of the worst options. let us begin. <laughs> I am Arsene. The other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment... I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. Indeed. <laughs> You've already seen where that takes place. Now then, something I should note about this that the game does not tell you. Fusions can fail. In which case, you get a random persona that is not the one you are looking for. This first one will always succeed. But you can always tell when your uh, fusion is going to fail when you don't have the option to skip said fusion. Or, in other words, this cutscene. So, my recommendation is to you, because here's the thing, fusing these guys can get expensive. Even though this cost us nothing... Well, there are other aspects to the fusions, which can get very expensive. Just warning you guys of that right now. So I highly recommend before you engage in any fusing in the future, save beforehand. Because if it fails, then you probably just wasted a lot of time. I'm a Gathion. I'm going to be your new mask now. Use me, use me, use me. Oh, trust me, we will. Behold, the Chariot Confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. All right. So yeah, because we have a bond with Ryuji, we get bonus XP. That bonus XP can also be increased by A, increasing our bond with Ryuji, but also by increasing our bond with Igor to improve the uh, Arcana Burst ability. Unfortunately, we can't do anything to speed up Igor's bond, so we're just going to have to focus on what we can speed up, because he's one of the story-based confidants I told you about, that they only level up as the story progresses. Ah, how impressive. Is it? A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. What do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Caroline and Justine, I just remembered their names. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many. Execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. 
Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. Uh, for the time being, it is proceeding smoothly. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. I feel a deepened connection with Igor. Third Eye. See things normally invisible to the naked eye by pressing the L1 button. In basic terms, this is our detective vision, and we're going to be using it a lot. All right. Yeah, more XP from Arcana Burst, when fusing Personas of the Fool Arcana. Third Eye. You can now use the Confidant ability, Third Eye. Activating Third Eye in both the real world and in the metaverse will let you see things normally hidden. Use Third Eye to uncover various hints. That is a thief's skill. Allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Come on. Alright. We're not really going to do anything more, composed. but I am going to show you this. Register slash summon personas. You'd like to read the compendium? Any personas that you have read captured, here. you are able to re-summon. This is why I'm saying it gets expensive, because it costs a fee in order to re-summon, especially if they are a higher level than you. But that really only becomes an issue in New Game Plus. But yeah, as you can see, um, our list is pretty limited. But it will get rather lengthy as time goes finished? on. Yeah, I'm done. No slacking off. So yeah, fusing doesn't cost anything, but resummoning stuff, which you will probably be doing a fair amount. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. Sure, that's... that's the reason. Yeah, it appears as though we are the... So, where do we start? are the only ones who can see the velvet room doors. Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. Should be a pretty decent starting point. Hmm? Safe room? Let's go! It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. You can now quick travel. Bring up the map with the R1 button and select a previously visited safe room to go there instantly. You can also quick travel from a safe room back to the palace entrance. These two locations are the only areas where quick travel can be used. And trust me, that is going to be very useful for us. You can receive aid from allies via the Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrating the metaverse while connected online. You can only request help a limited number of times, as the Thieves Guild will be able to help you out of a variety of desperate situations. There are no downsides to receiving aid, so be sure to use it proactively if you find yourself in trouble. In reality, there's only one situation where you can, uh, where you call for aid that I have seen, and it's when you get take, or when your allies get taken hostage. Yeah, just as you can knock down enemies and hold them at gunpoint, they can do the same to your allies, except they don't have to knock all of you down. It's incredibly rare when it happens. And when it does, you can just call for thieves, uh, the Thieves Guild to help you. So, yeah, just do that. You can only do it three times in a day, but it doesn't really matter. 
Now then, like they said, let's travel to the west building first floor. No point in going to the underground prison, there's nothing else for us there and it'd just be a waste of our time. Hey, what's with this room? It's a gap in the cognition. A safe room, if you will. Yeah, still not getting it. Right? Ugh, I'm fuzzy on the details, but I think it's some kind of spot where the shadows can't find us. Huh, I didn't think a place like that existed in here. So, what do we do in this safe room? Take a break, duh. Oh, and we talk about stuff too. Huh, those are important. I guess I'll rest for a little... Bit, rest for a bit too then. Let me know when we're ready to head out, Joker. Yeah, even though they say take a rest, you can't actually restore health and SP in here unless you have specific items. Also, this is Third Eye. When you do it, the world kind of darkens around you, and some objects shine, which indicate you can get an item from them. You also see the palace level security, yada yada, blah blah blah. Also, we can now consult in the safe room. Well. Okay then, let's get a grasp of our current situation. You can ask how your progress is, basically getting a good idea of how close you are to the treasure. Hey. Hey, you think the treasure's far? Didn't we just get in here? Based on how the castle looks, we still have a long way to go. This is amazing! I still can't believe a phone app took us somewhere like this. Well, you know. Well, not all of us need that app, you know. Cat can just come in on his own. What? I am not a cat. So, wait, what's the deal with those soldier things that are serving Kamishida? They transform into weird monsters whenever we fight them. You got it. Hmm? Oh, you must be talking about the shadows. What are shadows? Yeah, I've been wondering about those guard dudes too. What's their deal? Mm. I can explain it, but it'll be complicated. Do you want to hear? It'd be good to know. Listen up. Deep in the innermost depths of every human's heart lies their true personality, their shadow. So it's not that the guards are transforming into those things, those are their actual forms. The reason they look like gods and other mythical beings is because they spawn from the human psyche. Ah, stupid flies. These tiny little flies keep buzzing around. It's annoying me. Got it. Ah, but where there's one, there's bound to be more. They spawn from the human psyche. Aww. Whoa. But wait, what are they doing in, in Kamashita's castle to begin with? You got it. It seems like the distortion of the palace draws them in. Once they're here, their forms change and they become underlings for the palace ruler. When you think about it, the palace ruler is just the shadow of whomever owns the place, or palace. Maybe these places have something to do with the worlds in our minds, or with the collective unconsciousness, or con unconscious. Whoa. Oh, okay. Wait, that don't make any sense. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, you don't need to think too hard about it. They're enemies, so don't let your guard down, okay? What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? How is everyone? I'm on board. I can totally keep going. Looks like everyone else is good too. Everyone still seems energetic. I think we can keep exploring if you're feeling up to it. What are your thoughts? Nope, let's keep exploring. Okay, let's go. Well, I think we're done here. Also, I highly I recommend that you save whenever you get to uh, a uh, safe room because, yeah, this is going to be challenging. Come on. It may let's seem go, go, easy at first, but, well... Anyways, priorities beyond getting to the palace treasure. Uh, I cannot wait until we get the next power. Thankfully, the guards don't notice our allies. Uh, priority is typically, in my opinion, beyond getting to the palace, or beyond getting to the treasure, is to recruit as many, pers uh, as many personas as you can. There are going to be some Persona that are going to be way too high a level for you to recruit. Don't worry about them, just recruit what you can. You can now perform a Baton Pass by pressing the R1 button, or R2 button after triggering a One More. This allows you to give the action you gain from the One More to a teammate. That teammate's strength will be much higher for this action. A 
character must learn Baton Pass before being able to use it. However, Akira can Baton Pass to and from anyone who has learned the skill. Yeah, unfortunately, we can only Baton Pass to On and Panther, but we cannot Baton Pass to Morgana. And unfortunately, we won't be able to do that until, well, essentially the end of the palace. Oh, one other thing, the assist button will never target an enemy that's already down. Also, one other thing, you can switch around between targets. This is important to know. Just use left and right. Lend me your power. So that's your move. And again, I'll salt talk first. I'll decide if I'm gonna help you after. You're really taking this to the extreme, huh? Are all the kids these days doing stuff like this? You didn't want to join in? No, I thought this up myself. You just can't do things for fun if you're hassling other people. Ah, maybe you just don't care. Kids these days, they'll just go out and kill anyone. Man, I'm about to be a victim of that too. Oh, does this country even have a future? Mm, don't expect it. Hey, if all young people feel that way, then it's the end of the world, whole world. <laughs> if you have time for something like that, then your guard's down. Shoot! Okay, good. We can knock him down again. Serves you right. So that heal actually helped me for once. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, let's right. talk. You know, up till now, I did whatever I wanted. I knew it was gonna catch up to me someday. If you're gonna kill me, do a solid and make it quick. <laughs> Aren't you scared? Uh. You doubting yourself? Did you forget we were trying to kill each other earlier? Bless you know, before I died, I wanted to take a trip somewhere. How about you, Sonny? What kind of trip do you want to take? Hmm. A hitchhiking adventure. Yeah, right. Hey, if you get mixed up with weird characters, it'll end bad. I can, uh, relate to that. Well, I guess I'll try to worry more about the young person while I'm running away. Shoot! Now, by the way, if you can save your SP by just physically attacking enemies, do it. Right, Morgana's got a new skill, Patra. You're dizzy, forget, sleep, hunger for one ally. Might be useful. All right. All right, not gonna bother backtracking because, well, we need to save. We haven't explored past here yet. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious as we push on. Use third eye, yes, yes, hidden items and hints. It'll also show us whether an enemy is a higher level than us, same level as us, or a lower level than us. If they're blue, they're a lower level than us. If they're yellow, they're the same. If they're red, then they're higher. Let's see, who's next on the docket? Ryuji? Yeah, alright. I'm just gonna guard. Really wish Morgana had, uh... Yeah, fine had Baton Pass, because then I could have passed to Kira. Save some SP for Ryuji. So that's your move, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta say, you've been pretty inconsiderate host. You ought to show more hospitality. Couldn't you at least make me a cup of tea or something? Hell, that'd be real polite. I'm not hospitable. Yeah, that's fine by me. I don't plan on being polite either. Oh well, I'm gonna die, so I may as well do at least one good deed. Hey, Sonny, something's been bothering you. I'm willing to give you a listen. My future. If the future worries you, then do something to change it. Anything's fine, just as long as you start. Shoot! This 
Yeah, next up is the Dirty Torn Beast. Too slow. All right, Joker. Good. Very smooth. You'll never see it come I'm just gonna have Ryuji block so I can save some SP. On, however, I can have her heal. Thanks. Hold on. Persona. You can hit the weak point. Go down. Joker took one out. All right. Whoops. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna get some cash off you. And see, I guess human arts change really easily. Oh, falling in love again with an old flame, are you? Hee <laughs> hee, why don't we talk for a bit? I didn't ask for this. That'll happen every time you talk with a persona that you didn't have, or that you had but got rid of. You must feel really happy that I gave you something. Oh hey, you should know that you still haven't seen King Kamoshida's true strength. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes. We need money, though we should probably also nice consider work, getting some items. Never know if you get some SP restorative stuff. Alright. I can see it. Alright. See these hints? These tell you where you can perform actions, and the glowing barrels tell you where you can find some stuff to sell off. I can feel it. Well, it's not just barrels, but it's basically anything that glows. I'm right, gonna have to go around to get to that one. Show me your true form. Don't move now. And me your power. Well then, let's talk. I can't lend my power to just to some Joe Schmo. Okay. Hey man, why don't we stop this stuff and go have some fun somewhere? Hey, I got all sort of girls lined up if you're into that. You're trying way too hard. That's what they all say, but I'm thinking that's just the jealousy talking. So, you've got to be feeling good looking down on me. How about we have an interview? You're the winner after all. I'll listen to whatever you got to say. I feel great, but... Hey, think about us losers, won't you? You... I'm dying to kill ya. Shoot! Man, I'm doing terribly with this. Looking cool, Joker! Stay there! Let's try this again. Whatever. This, uh, stuff's hilarious. Why are you so desperate? Eh, I'm not desperate. Even that response just screams desperation. So, uh, instead of killing me, you started chatting with me. You trying to get something from me? Yep. That's a bummer. I ain't so good at just conversing. I guess I'll give you this for, uh, doing your best. Mm, don't matter how strong you think you are, you ain't gonna be a match for King Kamashida. Let's pull back for now. Well, that was a waste of a fight. Sure, we got some XP, but it wasn't really worth it. Focus. Ooh, an onyx. That'll sell for a decent amount. Two onyxes. That's... Dang. Now, not everything that you can steal from has, uh, has an item in it. Just the stuff that glows. I'll reveal your true form. I'm gonna save some bullets. Oh, by the way, one thing you should note is that, uh, On's gun randomly targets enemies. You have no control over who she shoots. Hey man, why don't we stop this shit and go somewhere fun? All sorts of girls. You're trying way too hard. What are you gonna tell your kids about this uh, stuff? It was a hard fought battle. Yeah. Really? That was pretty freaking intense for me too. Oh, yeah. And you remind me of myself. Wait. I remember now. Oh, yeah. I'm not a shadow that lives here. I'm from the Sea of Souls of you humans. Incubus. From now on, I'm you. Okay, 
in the Incubus mask. Got a new mask, Joker. Okay. Good thing about collecting all these masks, though, is that once you captured an enemy, you can just feel free to end them. Or just get some money off of them once you knock them down. Holy helmet, that's not going to sell for as much, but eh, every little bit helps. Ah, at long last. Damn, there's one here too. Oh well, guess we just got to ambush it from behind again. I'm not sure if you want to go about it the orthodox way, but there's a more stylish route. Listen up. See those sofas on the sides of the hallway? Hide behind those so you can get closer to the enemy. Once it's in range, jump on and rip its jump on it and rip its mask off. Whoa, that does sound pretty damn cool. Still. Hey, this isn't a movie. Now, let's carry out our Joker, plan. with your poise, you should be able to pull it off. Give it a try. Yeah, that ability we had like way at the beginning in that prologue site type scene, we now finally have it, and it is going to make things much easier for us. Near cover, press the X button to hide behind it. From there, you can check out what's ahead and enemies cannot find you. Yeah, seriously, they could bump right into you, they won't notice you. While behind cover, you can adjust your posi that, that position by tilting the left stick. If there's another hiding spot nearby, you can press the X button to jump there instantly. Also, if you are within range of an enemy, you can attack from cover for a guaranteed ambush. Make good use of this to gain the advantage. However, be aware that cover cannot be used if the enemy is already chasing you. Because, you know, it'd look pretty ridiculous if you hid behind a sofa when the enemy saw you hide there. Anytime. Just watch your distance. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. And here is a Gothion. See, because we uh, already fused it, we already know its name and we know its weakness. Who's next? Don't need him to lend me their power. Give me some money. Okay. Huh? Oh, it's a Gothion. Okay, I'll help you then. Hey, you want money, right? Ugh. Cool, right? Ah, I'm really nice. Here, don't lose this, okay? Yeah. Mister, you better give up. King Kamashita is super tough. You can't beat him. Now's the time to retreat! Ugh, 99 yen. Yeah, sometimes you get those moments where you get so little money, it would have been probably more worth it to just beat them down. Okay. Careful. I saw a shadow. I'll reveal your true form. Ah. Unfortunately, we can't recruit them because they're a level above us, but we are going to need them. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot I have Jack o' Lantern. Now let's just go for an all-out attack to finish them off. OMG, we are so awesome! Man, okay. no level ups. Shame. Because, because I know that there's an enemy later on that we're going to need their ice attack for. Alright, now let's just backtrack now that we don't have enemies to worry about. See it. Oh, by the way, one other thing. Whenever you go through one of those transitions, uh, it will respawn the enemies. Like those mini loading screens. Focus. Joker! Look, there's something in there. 
Ah, but the bars are blocking our way in. How suspicious. Well, if he's protecting it this securely, it has to be important. That means there should be a way in and out of here. Or there. Joker, do you think you can solve this mystery of this room? I'm sure your observation skills will help you get through. Hint, hint. I have something. Yeah, basically just use third eye for this. It'll tell you which ones to pull. Not sure what happens if you pull the wrong ones, see it. but I don't care to find out. Whoa. As expected from you, Joker. Hmm. What the hell? You had it all locked up and shit, but it was just some old map? You're hopeless. Don't you realize how vital a map is? Now then. Having this will give us a better grasp of the topography of the palace. It's tr a true necessity for a phantom thief. This should make securing our route much easier. Wait, does it say where the treasure is on there? Oh, actually, it seems like this map is incomplete. There might be more of them around. Wanna get going? Okay, we can start checking what we can. We'll probably find another map along the way somewhere. Yes, yes. When you reach highlighted red areas, yada yada, blah blah blah. Basically, red areas you have not explored. You can do that. How you can use L1 and R1 to toggle the floors. Ah, this guy. Come. You're you mine. Weak spot. Serves you right. Lend me your yeah, power. Let's see, pretty inconsiderate. Blah blah blah. I'm not hospitable. Give me a break. Let's kill. I'm gonna do one good deed. And my relationships. Whoa, you afraid of people or something? Oh, I could help you with something like that. I like the way that way of thinking. Hey, I can't believe it. I remember now. I'm no shadow from this place. I used to be living in that there sea of the human soul. From now on, call me Bicorn. No need for honorifics, Sonny. Isn't it? Okay, no longer need to worry about trying to recruit that okay. guy. I can feel it. Now I can just use them for XP. Yeah, uh, like I was saying earlier, even if you can steal from them, if they're not highlighted gold in your third eye, enemy ahead. Be careful. Then don't bother. It's close enough to. Show me your true form. Take him out. Go for the all-out attack. The show's over. There we go. Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Ooh, a pearl. That's another gemstone we can sell off. Oof. See that enemy glowing down there? That means that they are going to be an incredibly tough fight. And it's probably better to try Somewhere. avoiding them. Oh, one other thing, when you've got those uh, physical actions, if you're dashing around, or using dash for it, which we can't use right now because of the location that we're at, um, you'll automatically trigger them. I can feel it. Now, this is something I actually never really saw too often, but see that red glowing spot? That means an enemy's gonna spawn there. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. Let's go. Your mind. You can hit the weakness. Come there. Woo! Looking cool, Joker. And take him out. Finish him. Don't you 
Ooh, we got some plant bomb out of it. Okay. <sighs> Still no level up. Piece of cake. I might actually consider backtracking just to get that one character, because there's another enemy we can uh, recruit using her power. Now, we can head out this way, which will lead us back outside. Wait, ain't this the entrance so it's connected to here? It looks like you can get down from here, too. This will probably make a good infiltration point. But really, there's no point. Even if you're going all out on your powers, well, maybe if you are, you shouldn't really have, uh, should still have enough to get through to what is next, which is a safe room. This feeling. There might be a safe room around here. Now then. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good inside. Yes, and it is locked, but we only have, where is it? One lockpick, and I want to save that. Because there is a uh, specific chest I want to unlock, and that ain't it, which is a shame. You can now quick travel to Central Hall 2F. See what I mean about that infiltration point being pointless? Sweet. I think we're going to be able to come right back here if we want to. Let's do it. And I'm going to save and override that. And not much point in talking. I mean, I I can. Well. How's our progress? Hey. Uh, Skull, what are you smirking about over there? Oh, sorry about that. I was just thinking back to how we crossed over those chandeliers earlier. <laughs> I mean, don't all this just make you feel like we're real thieves? Uh... You know we still have a long way to go, right? She's got a point. Even looking at this optimistically, there's still a lot ahead of us. I know, I know. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep giving this shit everything I got. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Nope, and I know everything's still okay, let's go. pretty much fine. Let's go. Yes, I know I'm missing some health, but uh, I think I'll be fine for a bit. <sighs> the map's right, we still got a long way to go. Hey, look to the left, there are some shadows here too. Now, you can't just blindly rush into a fight. First, you need to ascertain how strong they are. How are we supposed to do that? Listen up. Well, we'll need to observe the enemy's actions and get some insight into their skills. That should be possible for you, Joker. You can view the strength of an enemy by using third eye. Yeah, I talked about that earlier. Relative to yours, higher, same, lower. Careful. I saw a shadow. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. Alright, the first move is ours. I don't see a weakness. Can't recall if these guys are weak to wind or lightning. There. Lightning it is. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. Go down. Ooh, looking Serves cool, right. Joker. Unfortunately, we can't recruit these guys because we're still only level 5. So, time for a beat down. Okay. And that was easy. I'll reveal your true form. Sure, but it drains our resources, Ryuji. This is the guy I was talking about wanting the ice power for. Down. It's time. We don't have the ice power, so... Just gonna have to go with physical attacks to wear him down. Save that SP. Focus on support. Yeah. Get wrecked. Nice job, Panther. 
<laughs> Loser. Unfortunately, I think this means Morgana won't get any XP. Ugh, right. and we didn't even get a level up off of that. Uh, that was a close one. Thankfully, though, he does revive with one S or one HP, so we don't have to worry about having any revival items to uh, bring him back. It's somewhere. I have something. Show me your true form. Now, with some very careful movements, you can outright avoid enemies. And towards the end of the palace, we are definitely going to have to do that. I'm just going to go for the all-out attack to get the XP for it. There we go. All right, level up. Okay, now we can start recruiting personas of level six. Okay. Shame we couldn't have gotten that beforehand, so we could try to get the uh, troublesome housemaid. But we should have the option to pick her up. I think within this same area. Ah, no, he doesn't have it yet. Cool. Looking cool, Joker. Hold on. Think again. Ah, uh, that's right, I can't pass on to him. Let's just finish them all off. Not even gonna bother asking them for money, it's not gonna be much. Mission accomplished. See? We got more money out of them than we probably would have asking. Okay. have to make a break for it while he's got his back turned and then hide before he turns around. Let's get I'll reveal your true form. I will say though, you've got to be very careful about enemies who uh, walk just on the edge of your uh, on the edge of your Ambush radius. <laughs> okay, All right, everybody's leveling up. Huh? That was a little too easy. Fresh ah, snuff soul. That is probably something that's going to be used up, which is a shame because it restores 50 SP. Uh, speaking of restoration, let's give everybody a little bit of SP restoratives. Yeah, you can see that those, uh, those are going to get used up pretty quickly. Let's get it right now. See what I mean about being on the very edge? Because if you're not here. careful... You'll accidentally roll out of cover and into an enemy. Ah, perfect. I am still gonna weaken at least one of them. Just to be safe. You're so gorgeous, Panther. Okay. Here's hoping we can get a recruiter right away. This is 
Well, we must talk things over first. I know nothing about you, after all. Excuse me, I believe this can be considered sexual harassment. I insist that you surrender yourself to the authorities. I don't have the time. You are still a student, are you not? I would assume you have nothing but time. Perhaps things look rather bleak for us at the moment, but you do understand that I'm here because people like you exist, right? Hmm, what do you mean? I've been trying to speak to you normally, but you are far too slow on the uptake. That's how I think it think as we Oh, I'm sorry, I remember now. In, in truth, I am not a shadow. I originated from the human sea of souls. My true name is Silky. From here on forth, I am thou. You've got a new mask, Joker. Excellent. I think once we recruit that right. two-legged horse, I don't remember its name off the top of my head, then we should be good at least for a while, at least until we hit level nine and can recruit that guy on the horse. We've got our sights set on them. The timing's up to you. I'll reveal your true form. Oh. All right. The first move is ours. This one's perfect timing. Electricity. Persona, you're mine. Looking cool, Joker. Let's go. Not this. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to Ryu. Go ahead. Not over yet. And whenever you do a baton pass, your attack and recovery go up. What recovery is, I have no idea. But I definitely understand attack. As you can see, that did way more damage. What do you plan to do with me? Me lost because me am weak. Lend me your power. Then let's talk. Once me understand you, me lend you my power. Human, you dumb. This territory, ours. Why you keep trampling here? What you humans thinking? Hmm, I haven't thought about it. You human who give up on thinking? Then let me eat your useless brain. The more me look at you, mask, the more strange it look. Why you wear mask to fight anyway? I care about my looks. You wear that mask every time you go out? Crazy humans. Me not sure why, but you not seem like stranger to me. Me remember now. You are not shadow that belongs here. Me exist in the souls of humans. I am Kelpie. My power is your power. Use it how you want. You got strangely eloquent towards the end there. Ah, but as you can see, we have hit a problem. We have reached our limit. We can only hold so many. Now, granted, that limit will increase. Uh, let's see, what does Kelpie have? No, oh, he's got Garu, Lunge, and he'll eventually get Resist Brainwash if we keep him around that long. I don't think we're going to need Bicorn anytime soon, and we're definitely not going to need the Hermit Arcana. So, goodbye, Bicorn. We can resummon him another time. Okay, now that we've got that, I think what I'm going to focus on when downing enemies okay. is getting money... And maybe some items, but mostly yes. money. Oop, someone hiding right there. Show me your true Who form. Who's next? Go. I'm just gonna guard, save the ammunition, and have Morgana take him down. So, uh, basically kids who sound like, or shadows that sound kind of like their kids, I wouldn't bother asking money from, because they typically don't have a whole lot. Give me some money. I didn't ask for this. There we go. 
Now's the time to retreat! Admittedly, we are still want to, gonna try, uh, going to want to get our XP up, okay. so we can get our... That, that. Focus on getting XP so we can get our level right. up. Because I definitely want to recruit that uh, guy on that knight on the horse before we leave here. Shadow can I'll reveal your true form. Yeah, you can actually. This is something that they're supposed to teach you later. But uh, you can actually ambush enemies from higher locations. It's not really something you're going to be dealing with often. So it's not something to really worry about, but something to keep in mind. Okay, so that part's blocked off by this lock. So we're gonna have to find another way around. Way to go about that is just go through this vent. This is where we're supposed to learn about ambushing enemies from above. Look, a treasure chest. Let's take whatever is in there, too. Uh, there's a guard there. Okay, That's okay. Go. Hey, Joker, do you think we can ambush it from here? It should be the same as hiding and jumping toward an enemy. Give it a try. Treasure chest. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. This guy, don't bother shooting him, just attack him outright. Come on, Joker. This is meant to teach you something else. Begging for life. When an enemy is in a dire situation, it may try to bargain for its life. You can negotiate with it at this point, and possibly even gain a persona. Shadow personalities determine how likely they are to beg. Timid shadows are more likely, while irritable shadows will never beg. Yeah, in basic terms, you can actually force enemies into situations. Basically, if they're alone and they're low on HP, then there's a chance they may try to beg for their life. Uncle, this has got to be it. Give me some money. Uh, well, huh? You already got a mask of incubus. Oh, I'll treat yeah. you good. You want some money? This enough? It'll do. Uh, well, Told you, take it. You got a greedy look in your yeah. eyes. Ah, thanks. I could have sworn I was done for. Yeah! Nice! I didn't realize even shadows could beg for their lives. That's actually kind of surprising. Shadows have emotions too, you know. Of course they'll be afraid if you can't corner them like that. It might be worth purposely creating such situations to get them begging for their lives. Ooh, muscle anklet. Yeah, first of our uh, accessories. I think for that one I'm going to give to Ryuji. Ankle gear that accentuates muscles. Plus, it'll free up something for us to sell. I can feel it. And even though it's kind of pointless, I may as well unlock this door anyways. All right, let's get moving. Somewhere. Strange lantern. No, this isn't the tower where I, that locked chest is. I think it's the next tower we go through that has the locked chest we want to lock pick. There's an enemy. Be careful. The cognition here is weak. There may be a safe room nearby. Eh, won't be safe to go for it if this guy's standing there. 
any time. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. Alright, time to bring out Silky. Silky. Or Silky. There. Cool. Cool, and he Joker. is down. I'm gonna baton pass over to On. Because Silkies are or Silkies are also weak to uh electricity. But I'd rather use On because she hasn't been using her attacks that often. Unfortunately, we can't recruit this brutal cavalryman yet because, well, he's too high a level for us. Like, he's three levels above us. But I'm definitely going to want to recruit him for uh, by the right. end of this dungeon. They were nothing. Let's see it. Because, uh, well, they're going to be needed. I'm not going to say for what, but they're going this to be is needed. A nice spot for a safe room. Well, how's our progress? <sighs> Oof, there's seriously tons of enemies around here. Hey, Mona, how far in are we? I think this is still the beginning stages. I don't sense the treasure anywhere near here. I guess we have a long way to go. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Nope. Okay, let's well, go. I think we're done here. Let's do it. Let's keep moving. There's a puzzle coming up, and there's a location we're going to hit where I would normally recommend you stop infiltration for the day, but that's not an option for us. See, Morgana's gonna be next, so I'm gonna save my SP. No, not that. Oh, boy, that's not going to get annoying. Okay. Shadow defeated! That was easy, huh? Okay, we're going to want to head down this way, because there are a bunch of dead-end rooms we're going to need to go into for a puzzle coming up. Cross shield, meh. Bookshelf. What is this? Mm. Are you curious about that book joker? Hmm. I guess we can always take it with us if you want. The slave book. Mm. The slave book, huh? That sounds kind of important. Let's take a look at this item. Book on the slaves. It's pretty hefty. That ain't good. There's an enemy. Be careful. I'll reveal your true form. Pass you over to On. Then I'll pass you over to Ryu. And then we're just gonna go all out. Get more XP. Okay. Ha! Piece of cake. I'll reveal your Who true you? form. All right. This 
ones weak to electricity. Yeah, just electricity. Oh, it's a weak point. You're mine. Ooh. Looking cool, Joker. Go ahead. I Not got over this. yet. I think there's actually an achievement for uh, the Tom passing three times in one battle. Get through that, it's locked up. Of course, that puzzle. What do you want to do, Joker? Is what we're going to need these books for in order to get that door open. I can feel it. I'll reveal your true form. Yeah, I don't get what was up with that glowing thing that they had. Uh, up on the chandeliers and why it doesn't appear elsewhere. Ups, always right. good. Level up. I gotta use this next time. See, high chance of sleep to one foe. Huh. Could be useful. All right. A stylish victory. I sense something strange about this book too. And take with us, we get the Queen book. Uh... Green book. Is this some kind of special book? Book on the Queen. It's pretty hefty. You can see it. All right, nothing to steal. Shadow, what do you want to do, Joker? Eh, I say we avoid him for the time being. No need to go picking fights. We don't have to fight. I thought I could use the XP. Hey, I see a shadow. I'll reveal your true you. form. Alright, the first move is ours. Or maybe not. Who's next? Come on. There we go. Get that cavalryman. No match for me. It's somewhere. Hmm? Let's see, let's bring it along. The King Book. Hmm. King Book, what is this? Book on the King. It's pretty happy. Boy, these descriptions are just oh so helpful. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good inside. Yeah, there probably is, but we won't be picking the lock on that. I'll reveal your true form. Because that's still not the one we need. Alright. Ooh! Critical hit, nice. Critical hits are another way to knock down your enemies, but this one's weak to electricity. I wouldn't rely too heavily on it. 
I wanted to say something, but now I can't remember what it was. Now I remember what it was. Uh, something that the game doesn't really go over, but just as you can get... That, are you? Don't fall behind. Just as you can get one mores by knocking your enemies down with their weakness, your enemies can do the same. Whoa, it's so musty. A library, huh? This definitely seems fishy. What do you mean? Come on, it's a library in a castle. There has to be some kind of secret mechanism in here. Well, then. Let's look around, Joker. Hmm. Yeah, a bunch of empty spaces. Glowing empty spaces. Uh... Let's see, the history of Kamoshida, tracing Kamoshida's steps, Kamoshida's heroisms, Kamoshida's law. What the hell? All these goddamn books are about Kamoshida. Joker. Hey, that reminds me. We found a book earlier, didn't we? Now well, let's try putting it in. Well. Yeah, put something... Yeah, something might happen if we put a book in there. The King Book. Is this... There are all sorts of books here. Titles don't have any rhyme or reason to them. Huh? This book has Shiho's name in the title. Wait, it's not just this one. All these books here are about female students. On to Kamaki, the charming doll? Holy shit. What the heck is this? Let's try the Queen book. I can feel it. Last one is over here. Oh! Hmm, wait a second. The books on this shelf seem familiar. These are the names of the volleyball team members. Wait, what the hell? All the titles are boys from our school. Or Yuji Sakamoto, the vulgar ape. Oh, there's one here for Skull. Damn it. That bastard. Who the hell does he think he is? Oh, well, only book left. Bingo! <laughs> Whoa, it opened up! You got it, Joker. Let's take a look inside. Uh, something tells me I don't want what? to. Oh, what the hell is this room? There's tons of pictures of Suzui in here. Wait, it's all pics of her. Are you gonna be okay? Thanks. Yeah, thanks. If anything, I feel even more motivated to do this now. Okay. I'm sure it'll feel awful, but we should search this room. There has to be something in here if you was hiding it with such an elaborate trick. Hmm, Kamashita's medal. Hey, look at this! Is this a medal? Well, it has to be important. He went through all of the trouble to hide it here, after all. I guess we'll take it then. Wait, there's something under the metal, too. Oh, it's a different map from the one we have! This is lucky. Let's take it with us. <laughs> Aha, our map's complete now. So, is it gonna tell us where the treasure is? Yeah, look, it has to be here. That's a weird-shaped building. Could it be a tower or something? Considering our current position, I'd say we're about halfway there. All right. Let's hurry over there. No, now that we know how much we have left, we can calculate the best way to pace ourselves. Well, let's keep exploring, but take breaks when you need to, Joker. Yeah. Well, if we head back and continue on, and let's actually take a look at the metal. Hopefully it'll give us a better description. Gold medal won in an international competition. Yeah. Joker. If we activate this device, we should be able to open the door. Let's use the metal. All right. Sweet. Looks like it worked. Now we can keep going. 
And this must lead somewhere important. Let's go. Feeling. There might be a safe room around here. Now, there's no might about it. There is a safe room. Like this place is safe. You can now quick travel to the chapel. Sweet. I think we're gonna be able to come right back here if we wanna. Well. Okay then. Let's get a grasp of our current situation. How's our progress? <sighs> you still thinking about that room we saw earlier? My mind just keeps coming back to what Shio must have been going through. Hey. Yo, Mono. Where are we at right now? Huh? Well, I'd say somewhere around halfway through. You hear that? You just gotta go the other half, and then we can get revenge for her. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for being such a downer. I'll do my best from now on. What are your thoughts? Anything else? Nope. Okay, let's go. So I know what's coming up, and it's going to be a. Not a boss fight, but a sub-boss fight. A mini-boss, if you will. And I know it's going to take much longer than we have left. Because the enemy is not weak to anything. Or at least not weak to anything we might have. So we're going to be relying purely on physical attacks. So I think I'm going to end it off here. Oh, and uh, by the way, for those of you who aren't doing the whole scheduled playthrough like I am... This would be about a good point, maybe a little further on, maybe when you get to the next save room, which I'm not sure how far along that is. I think it's a fair distance if I recall correctly, but anyways, uh, this would be about the good place to try and take a break and come back to the palace another time, but that's not an option for us. But anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm going to end things off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.